and welcome folks, welcome to a new Let's Play. Welcome to Let's Play Fallout. The original game that came out in 1997. Yeah, I know, it's a... I'm playing another game released in 1997 for some reason. But I um, have to say that the reason that I play this game is not that it was released in this year, but because I wanted to play an RPG. And I don't have much experience with RPGs, but uh, that's one of the RPGs I actually did finish. Yeah, um, I don't think I need to give this game a big introduction. You probably know this game if you found this video. Or perhaps you only know the reboot of the series, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. That is actually the game that started it all. Even though um, this game actually also had a spiritual predecessor, namely Wasteland. Uh, let's just um, start a new game. We've seen in the introductory cutscene basically um, all the story that you get initially. So we're living in a post-apocalyptic world and yeah, uh, we play as the Vault Dweller. It actually does not have a name in this game. Um, and we shall not play as one of the one of these three predefined characters. We shall actually make our own character. Okay, there are um, as usual, usually, as in most RPGs, there are your stats, then your optional traits. Um, okay, obviously you cannot max out every stat. Yeah, but you definitely want to have a high intelligence in this game in order to get the most interesting dialogue. Okay, let this give this character a name. Um, yeah, let's just call him Mr. Man. For lack of a better name. Uh, you can actually change the gender, uh, but the only affects a few dialogue options. We shall play, play as male, however. And we shall play um, a bit of an unusual character. Probably not just unusual. You could also say uh, contradictory. Namely, we are going to play as a martial arts sniper character. So the problem is that in this game, as soon as you get plasma weapons, that's the only thing that you ever going to use or want to use thereafter. So if you invest many, um, many levels into small and big guns uh, or small guns, these level, uh, these investments will be more or less worthless after you've got plasma weapons. So we'll try to avoid using small guns and just focus on hand-to-hand -hand combat until we get plasma weapons, so needs somewhat better than average strength, uh, at least six. We do want to have, uh, well the maximum you can have is heroic intelligence. I think we'll um, want to have excellent intelligence. Think uh, another thing that is very important is agility. This uh, stat here, which controls your action points, that's basically the the currency that in the combat mode. So the more action points you have, the more actions you can perform in a given turn. So um, Fallout is a real time game, but the combat system is actually turn-based. So we want to have uh, definitely more than just very good agility. Agility is most important. So we have to make some sacrifices. Um, I guess we have to 
Yeah. Give up a bit of endurance. Uh, and then there's luck. Um, yeah, basically only you either you play as a character with bad luck or with very good luck. So a setting like this doesn't make much sense. Um, yeah, so it's not quite the character that we want to have. We definitely want to have more strength and more agility. Um, and I actually want to have more luck. Because if you have... I think you have need to have a level of at least 9 in order to get a certain perk. The sniper perk. Um, so we definitely want to have more than just 5 points of luck. Using this um, optional trait, you can increase every other statistic by one at the cost of um, starting with left skills. So on the right hand side, you can see that skills drop. Okay, but this allows me to deduce two points, um, one point in endurance and one point and character Let's spend two points in luck mm. actually okay let us so we want to play a martial arts character so bruce um heavy-handed would be then very useful increases your melee damage to six um however it reduces reduces get minus 30 to all critical hits but I guess we have to live with that um, okay we could subtract one more hmm. okay, let us use these settings so very good strength gives us uh, six, uh, six points of melee damage, average perception which may be for yeah for sharpshooter is not that good okay but I think it doesn't matter um, so it should be balanced out by this so as soon as we have got the sniper perk we should be okay using uh, having this level of luck so luck also determines how many um, unusual encounters you have perception okay maybe that's not so good and you ones I don't want to be below four and character if you have um, sort of important not just for bartering but also certain when you so at some points in this game you want to um, have to um, convince other people of your position so this is actually quite important um, Maybe. Hmm. Let's just uh, keep these settings. Okay. You have no more. Uh, can't pick any more trades. But we can pick some skills. So we want to use energy weapons. So from 9 to 29%. That's very important. Then melee weapons. Uh, let's invest. Go for unarmed actually. So that's quite good. And we have one more skill that we can use. Um, and I'm thinking whether to use Lockpick, which is quite useful in this game. Or Steel, which is also very useful. Um, okay, Traps is not so useful, so... Or Sneaking. 
how we could improve speech. Hmm. I think we go with we will go with lock picking actually. Okay, I think that's everything is okay. So let us just start the game. Ha ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Yeah, that's the story, basic story that you get. Um, you've been basically living in this vault for all your life and then you suddenly get kicked out or rather asked to help them find a um, water purification chip. You can interact with this computer but it will refuse to let you in again, so we can't get back until later in the game. Yeah, we have to find the water chip within um, within 150 in-game days. No, 4,000 days, even though it said 150 days in the cutscene. Okay, anyway, um, so this game is actually real time so the time progresses in this game but it's actually faster than your the actual time if that makes sense um, so there's a time limit however you can extend this time limit um, by doing certain things which I won't say now because that would spoil some of some of the game. Yeah, that's basically. Um, sorry, we're the world dweller. We have to save our people, save our vault, and we've basically been given, yeah, a pistol, uh, a brass knuckles, some flares, a med kit, and some bullets, and a lockpick actually. Which is quite handy, but not much else. Uh, and so when we come back, folks, we will, we shall um, have fight our first enemies. And you can probably guess what that is going to be. So until next time, folks. Until then.